Well, welcome to my review booth <laughs> one more time. And what if delights have we got in store for you today? Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are reviewing the data tool Heated Grips. Now, I had some uh, very specific requirements for my heated grips. I didn't want any old heated grips. They had to meet three main uh, main objectives. Well, first of all, they had to look stylish. I didn't want some horrible, ugly grips on the bike. Secondly, I certainly didn't want any separate switches to activate them. Horrible big switches you've got to stick on the bike. They had to be sort of integrated and look almost like a factory fit. And the third option, they had to be detect when the bike was on or off. I didn't, because most of these will just connect directly to your battery. Um, some heated grips will, you wire to your battery, but you've got to remember to turn them off when you get off the bike. That's no good. I'm too forgetful for that. I mean, I can't remember the keys, you know, so I've got to have automatic bike that switches on without any keys, and I'm never going to remember to switch off uh, heated grips. And I didn't want something which needed relays and all very complicated. I'm, I'm sick to the death of relays. I've got too many additional relays on my bike now. I didn't want another one just for heated grips. So with all those requirements, I looked what was available. And to me, the ideal heated grip for the uh, aftermarket, obviously factory fitted heated grips are the preferred option, completely integrated. Some of those don't even look heated. But your second best option for the uh, from the aftermarket world what I believe anyway is the data tool grips. Now data tool grips have an integrated heat setting. You've got five different settings on the switch. You've not got a separate switch. You've got a big, you know, just one unit, all integrated, looks neat and tidy. Um, they look reasonable. I mean, they're, they're, not, they're, they're a bit thicker than a standard bike grip and they do say data tool all over them, but they're all black. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I suffer with a little bit of vibration through my uh, through my grips. I had some menthol grips on it last year. I get a few vibes and after a while my hands do get a bit tingly. So I thought a bit of extra padding and a bit of extra grip size is not gonna kill me, you know? So I wasn't too worried about that. The main reason I like these is they've got the integrated five setting power switch. They've also got an LED built into the right grip to let you know when they're on or off. And best of all, they just wire directly to the battery with an inline fuse provided. And what's even better is they detect when the bike is running. So they turn on and off when the bike is running. I guess they work by, you know, when the bike's running, your bike is obviously producing a bit more charge from the stator. Your battery voltage will be a bit higher. When you turn your bike off and it's not generating electricity, the voltage will drop. And these detect that voltage drop and they turn themselves off. So it's very clever, you haven't got to worry about turning them off, they're integrated buttons, they look reasonable. Looking at the wiring, it's a very good quality wiring actually, you've got waterproof connectors, you've got a nice inline switch, you've got like a, a wire which you plug in your, your uh, you know, the left hand grip into, and you have one wire that which runs back to your battery. So these are the grips I went for, so we're going to fit these now, and we'll see how we get on. I mean you get with them, you get various zip ties, and you even get some, uh, you even get some uh, adhesive or glue to you and me to uh, to fix them on with. And they're reasonably priced. I mean, these were £60, so they're not the most expensive grips on the market. They're not the cheapest grips on the market. They, they sit somewhere in the middle. But with the integrated uh, button, I think they look the neatest. And like I said, the quality of them looks good as well. I mean, they're a little bit... Uh, a little bit plasticky looking if you look very closely at them. I'm also going to have to cut the ends off the because I've got bar ends so obviously to go on there. So I'm going to have to. It says have a Stanley knife and just cut the end piece out. So I'm going to have to do that. So these are going to be fitted now. So uh, let's go to the bike and start the fitting. Okay, grips are now fully fitted. Had some issues whereby the, they wouldn't fit on. They seemed a little bit tight, and I had to actually do a bit of sanding of the bars to actually slip them on, especially on the throttle side where you've got the sleeve for the throttle. Quite tight, I mean, but these are not stock bars. They're Harris clip-ons, 22mm clip-ons, so, you know, it's a little bit different. 
but uh, but yeah, bear that in mind. You may have to do a bit of work to fit them. Um, all on now though, and I think we're ready to fire them up and see how warm they get. This is the uh, the big test. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Fitted, tested, very, very happy. When you turn the bike off, the grips go off sort of almost instantaneous. They detect that the battery voltage has been cut and they turn off. Um, they're nice and toasty. Take about 10 minutes to get fully warm. Um, but ideal, I can't wait for the, uh, for the cold weather now. And I can go out and have toasty warm hands. So if you want a set of these, the Carbon King there's a very good deal of these. I'll flash out some details of the Carbon King. And obviously, if you need any carbon fibre pieces, he's your man for that as well. Well, he's the king, isn't he? So, uh, Carbon King, if you want a set of these babies. I'm really impressed. I mean, they, they tick all the boxes. I know it's a cliche, but they really do. I mean, they look sort of like a factory grip. You've got factory-looking uh, switch gear, factory-looking switch options. Uh, you even got a little AD to tell you they are running. So, super happy. The only problem, like I say, I had was I just had to sand down the actual grip a little bit. Certainly on the throttle side of the inner tube. It seemed a little bit tight, so I had a little bit of sanding. But yeah, so you, you, it's possible you may have to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of a sanding to get them on. But they're nice and tight. I mean, I didn't really need any glue. The glue was just used for a bit of a lube, really. But um, they're certainly on there now. And everything fits underneath the tank, all mounted easily enough. Great connectors, straight on the battery. I can't recommend them enough. So, Carbon King, get yourself some grips and keep your hands warm this winter. Or even this summer, or whenever you like.